Battle of the Brains presented by Virginia 529. Central Virginia's Ultimate High School Academic Quiz Show. Today's match features Blacksburg High School vs. St. Christopher's School. Let the battle begin. Hello and welcome to Battle of the Brains, Central Virginia's only high school academic quiz show. I'm Cheryl Miller. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. Our academic athletes joining us today have made it to round two this season. They are the Bruins of Blacksburg High School, coached by Mary Louise Moss. Blacksburg High School is part of the Montgomery County Public School System. The school focuses on preparing its 1,300 students to reach their full potential in both education and in life. Also with us today, the Saints of St. Christopher's School, coached by Alina Shahotsky. St. Christopher's School is a private college preparatory school for boys in Richmond. The school emphasizes education, its honor code, and community. Great to have these students back with us today as they've made it to the second round here on Battle of the Brains. Now our match today will consist of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction, but there is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, students, once again, welcome. Let's start the first toss-up round. In 1873, New York was the first state to officially recognize it. However, many southern states did not adopt it until after World War I. Name this national holiday observed at the end of May. Jack. Uh, Labor Day. That is incorrect. Blacksburg? <phone rings> Ethan? Veterans Day. It's actually Memorial Day. Pepe I, Tutankhamun, and Ramses II all held what ultimate... <phone rings> Colin? Uh, Pharaoh. That is correct, religious and secular title of ancient Egypt. These elementary particles and their antiparticles are identified as up, down, top, bottom, Theo. Works. That is correct. This man's choral works include scenes from the saga of King Olaf and the dream of Gerontius, named this English creator of the pomp and circumstance marches. Cullen. Elgar. Correct, Sir William El Edward William Elgar. Examples include Frost's Acquainted with the Night, Shelley's Ode to the West Wind, and Byron's The Prophecy of Dante. Name this verse form with a rhyme scheme A, B, A. A sonnet. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Blacksburg. Name this verse form with a rhyme scheme A, B, A, B, C, B, etc. A three-line stanza form made famous in Dante's Divine Comedy. Colin? Epic. It's called a terza rima. In baseball, what is the maximum number of runs that can be scored with one swing of the bat? Theo. Four. Correct. Base is loaded, the batter comes home too. Because the precision of all measuring devices is limited, the number of digits that are valid for any measurement is also limited. What is the name given to these valid digits? Jack. Significant figures. That is correct. Only four books of the Bible have 50 or more chapters. Name any one. Jack. Psalms. That is correct, along with Genesis, Isaiah, and Jeremiah. It follows the lives of five aristocratic families, and the first half of its title refers primarily to Napoleon's invasion. Jack. War and Peace. That is correct, by Leo Tolstoy. Curling is an Olympic sport in which players slide stones across a sheet of ice toward a targeted area, which is segmented into how many concentric circles? Jack. Three. That is incorrect. Blacksburg? Colin? Four. That is correct. She has been called the prophet of extreme individualism, personal freedom, and free enterprise. Name this author of such works as The Fountainhead. Ayn Rand. That is correct. And of course, Atlas Shrugged. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. What is the least common multiple of 8 and 124? Mac. 248. Correct. All right, players, please turn your attention to the monitor for a video question presented by a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch, and you must wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. Billy Strings is a current star in what subgenre of country music that sounds like it may have originated in Kentucky? Uh, Mac. Bluegrass. Bluegrass is correct. Which U.S. president said the following? The only thing we have to fear. Um, FDR. That is correct. His fear itself during his first inaugural address in March of 1933. Discovered in 1757, it is referred to as the Proteus Animalculi. 
after the Greek god Proteus, who could change his shape. Name this microscopic species, which is usually drawn in high school biology classes. Ethan. Amoeba. Correct. Mm. What middle class country owns the Suez Canal? Jack. Uh, Egypt. Correct. Telemachus, who had, a cast, who had cast the deciding vote to attack in this battle, was killed. However, the Athenian forces triumphed over the first Persian invasion of Greece. Name this battle fought just over 26 miles. Mac. Marathon. Correct. From and that buzzer means the end of our first toss-up round. A great job by our team so far, but a lot more questions to come. Up next, you'll meet today's players, and then they'll take on the category round when Battle of the Brains returns. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow along with Battle of the Brains on social media. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Blacksburg High School with 40 points. Our team from St. Christopher's School with 100 points. And we'll get back to our match and more questions just ahead. But first, we want to introduce you to today's players. First, let's meet our team from Blacksburg High School. They are the Bruins, coached by Mary Louise Moss. First up on our team is Rishi Nair, who is a sophomore, enjoys tennis, playing chess, and being a member of student council. Next up is Brandon Hugh, who is a sophomore, is a state qualifying member of the swim team, enjoys reading and doing math. Our team captain is Colin Holt. Colin is a senior who plans to attend the University of Richmond. He enjoys history and geography and DECA. And wrapping up our team is Ethan Ryrie, who is a senior. He enjoys cooking and plans to major in immunology. That is our team from Blacksburg High School. Now let's meet our team from St. Christopher. They are the Saints. Their coach is Elena Shahutsky. First up on our team is Mac Dixon. Mac is a senior who is a member of the History Club. He enjoys hiking, ancient history, and music. He's too cool for words and will be attending Emory University. Our team captain is Jack Nelson. Jack is a senior, will be attending UVA. Congratulations to you on that, and is a member of the Student Council and enjoys history. Next up is Jack Frame. Jack is a senior, is a peer advisor at school, is a member of the Science Bowl team. His favorite subject, he tells us, is history, and Jack will be attending NYU. And wrapping up our team is Theo Cross, who is a senior, enjoys chemistry and also astrophysics. And that is our team from St. Christopher's School. And now that we've met our players, let's let them get to the category round. Each team will select one 10-question category from today's choices. If the team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they'll receive a 20-point bonus. Teams, here are today's categories from which you may choose. They are their super, comes in threes, and Hawaii. And St. Christopher's, we note in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the teams, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answers. And there is no deferring in this round. And uh, by the rules, the team with the highest score gets first choice of category. So St. Christopher's, that is you. Jack, quickly talk it over with your teammates. Let me know what you'd like to play. Uh, we'll do their super. All right, identify the following people, places, or things with super in their, their or its name. The first is the NFC AFC Championship game. Super Bowl. Correct. In the comics, Jor-El's son. Uh, Superman. Correct. Mach 1 or faster. Supersonic. Supersonic. Correct. Environmental cleanup site. Um, pass. That would be a super fund. Way to write exponents. Uh, Superscript. Super Correct. One of Freud's parts of the psyche. Uh, super ego. Correct. One dubbed 1987A was in Andromeda. Um, Supernova. Correct. Longest course on an alpine slalom event. Um, pass. That would be Super or a Super G. Wonder Woman and Aquaman, for example. Super heroes. Correct, or Super Friends. And Mary Poppins thought this word was wonderful. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Better you say it than me. Good job. <laughs> All right, good job by our team from St. Christopher's in the category round. All right, Blacksburg, will it be comes in threes or Hawaii? Colin, talk it over with your teammates. Yeah, I think we'll yeah. Take we'll take Hawaii. Okay, I'll take Hawaii too. <laughs> the first is the city of Honolulu is located on which island? Oahu. Correct. Which U.S. president was born in Hawaii? Obama. Correct. What is Hawaii's official state nickname? The floral state? 
It's the Aloha State. In what year did Hawaii become a U.S. state? 1958? It was 1959. Ooh. British explorer who met his demise at Kealu Lukeku Bay. Cook. James Cook is correct. What is Hawaii's tallest volcano? Diamond Head Mountain. Uh, yeah. Diamond Head Mountain. It would be Mauna Kea. Which U.S. naval vessel has a memorial floating above its wreckage? USS Arizona. USS Arizona. Correct. What popular TV show starring Tom Selleck was set in Hawaii? Y50. That would be Magnum P.I. Which sports Pro Bowl was held 30 straight years at Aloha Stadium? The Rainbow Bowl. That would be the NFL. Which sports Pro Bowl? NFL. Mm -hmm. What is the second largest Hawaiian island? And that would be Maui. We ran out of time on that category. Good job by our teams in the category round. Coming up next, we'll have another toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Stay right here. Miss a week of Battle of the Brains? Or want to catch up on a full season of Battle Gameplay? Find full episodes on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Blacksburg High School with 60 points. Our team from St. Christopher School with 140 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. And just a reminder for our teams, you do lose points if you interrupt a question with an incorrect answer. The other team then has the chance to answer the question. And, of course, there's no conferring in the toss-up round. Here we go. Ernest Hemingway's Death in the Afternoon says that this is the only art in which the artist is in danger of death. Name this traditional Spanish <coughs> Jack. Bullfighting. Correct. In professional basketball leagues, these are six feet wide and three and a half feet tall. Name these surfaces that are hit by neither <coughs> Mac. Backboard. Correct. Neither swishes nor air balls. This process begins with an oxaloacetate, which combines with an acetyl group. Brandon. Well, citric acid cycle. That is correct. How many meters are in a kilometer? Ethan. 1,000. Correct. He suffered from myopia and hyperopia and disliked having two separate instruments to correct those problems. He cut the functional units in half. <coughs> Mac. Benjamin Franklin. Correct. Created bifocals. The, the Battle of El Alamein, the Siege of Leningrad, and the Battle of the Coral Sea all took place. Colin. World War II. Correct. Where on earth is the litho lithosphere located? Ethan. Uh, above the mantle. The judge says yes, it's in the Earth's crust. He wrote about revolutionaries in Russia in Under Western Eyes, in Latin America in Nostromo, and in London in The Secret Agent. Name this Polish-born creator of the character Kurtz in Heart of Darkness, Colin. Conrad. Joseph Conrad is correct. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. What number is bigger than its half by 10? Theo. Uh, uh, <coughs> 20. Correct. <laughs> Polydactyly <laughs> is a condition in which a person... Six fingers? That is incorrect. I'll finish for Blacksburg. Is a condition in which a person has more than the normal number of fingers or toes spell polydactyly? <laughs> Ethan. P-O-L-Y-D-A-C-T-Y-L-Y. -Y. That is correct. Good job. The four men can see the shoreline of Florida, but the waves near shore will overturn the rowboat they use to escape a shipwreck. This is the dilemma of the cook, the captain, the oiler. Colin. The open boat. Correct. The correspondent was fourth, and that's a story by <coughs> Stephen Crane. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. Multiply the number of amendments in the Bill of Rights by the largest prime number less than four and divide by the number of points for a touchdown. Jack. Five. That is correct. Ten amendments, three is the prime number, six points for a touchdown. What element is represented on the periodic table by the symbol PB? Uh, Theo. Lead. Correct. What president succeeded John Tyler and led the U.S. during the Mexican War? Jack. Uh, Polk. James K. Polk is correct. What decorative skill is defined as the art of fine handwriting? Colin. Calligraphy. That is correct. 
Fredericksburg is a city on the Rappahannock River in Virginia. Spell Fredericksburg. Jack. Uh, F-R-E, F-R-E-D-I-C-K, um, S-B-U-R-G. That is incorrect. Blacksburg? Brandon? F-R-E-D-E-R-I-C-K-S-B-U-R-G. That is correct. What Virginia-based company's advertising asks about the content of your wallet? Theo. MasterCard. That is incorrect. Blacksburg? Ethan? Capital One. That is correct. Their tagline is, what's in your wallet? It's the only number whose name has the same number of letters as the number's value. Ethan? Four. Correct. This power may have been presaged by the Federalist, number 78, but it was explicitly entrenched in the 1803 case of Marbury versus Madison. Jack. Judicial review. Correct. And that buzzer means one more toss-up round just ahead and we'll double the point value. Stay tuned to see which of our teams will move on to round three here on Battle of the Brains. And a reminder, if your school would like to participate in Battle of the Brains next season, the qualifying test is coming up on April 22nd. Here's how to connect with us to find out more. Love Battle of the Brains? Ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Go to battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores as we head now into the final round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Blacksburg High School with 170 points. Our team from St. Christopher School with 210 points. Now for this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled. And so is the penalty for an incorrect answer given before I finish the question. No deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, teams, good luck. This is our final toss-up round. In trigonometry, what is the reciprocal of the sine function? Jack. Uh, cosecant. That is correct. In musical and scientific terminology, words such as algebra, alcohol, zenith, and tambourine were contributed to English. Jack. Arabic. That is correct. By what culture? A handkerchief can be used as a decorative pocket accessory. Spell handkerchief. Ethan. H-A-N-D-K-E-R. C-H-I-E-F. That is correct. He was once married to Marilyn Monroe and was immortalized. Ethan. Arthur Miller. That is incorrect. I'll finish for St. Christopher's. And was immortalized in song by Simon and Garfunkel. Name this New York Yankees player who holds the record 56 game hitting streak. Jack. Lou Gehrig. It's actually Joe DiMaggio. With 18,355 yards, mostly with the Dallas Cowboys, who is the all-time leading rusher in the National Football League? Jack. Emmett Smith. Correct. He retired in 2004. The gin in Eli Whitney's cotton gin is a shortened version of what more descriptive word? Jack. Uh, engine. That is correct. This nation contains the archipelagos of the Azores and Madeira and is named? Jack. Portugal. Correct. Almost 80,000 square miles in area. It includes land from the states of Campeche and Quintana Roo and parts of the countries of Belize and Guatemala. Jutting out eastward from Central America, this is what Mesoamerican Peninsula? Ethan. The Yucatan. Correct. Israel's Knesset, the legislature of every Canadian province, and the state legislature of Nebraska are described by what 10-letter term, indicating that they have only a single house or chamber? Jack. Unicameral. Correct. In the human body, the pituitary gland, the adrenal gland, and gland, and the pancreatic gland are all types of what system? Ethan. Endocrine. That is correct. Function is to secrete hormones into the blood. Red, butter, and romaine are all types of what food? Ethan. Lettuce. <laughs> that is correct. By what better name was the horticulturist John Chapman known as he traveled the country cultivating? Jack. Johnny Appleseed. Correct. Cultivating fruit trees. What U.S. state's motto is North to the Future? Jack. Uh, Alaska. Correct. Which notable early Virginia settler was made Admiral of New England by the Plymouth Company for mapping and exploring the coastline of New England? Jack. Uh, John Smith. Correct. According to a famous proverb, the source of which is Shakespeare's Hamlet, what seven-letter word is defined as the soul of wit? Brandon. Brevity. That is correct. 
1912, this sunken ship was refloated, then submerged in deep water in the Gulf of Mexico. Colin. Uh, horizon. That is incorrect. St. Christopher's, it was sunk, submerged in deep water in the Gulf of Mexico with full military honors which ship's 1898 sinking at Havana led to the Spanish-American War. Jack. The USS Maine. Correct. In Homer's Odyssey, Telemachus is the son of what much-traveled Greek hero? Odysseus. Theo. Correct. In what sport is it said you can score from the paint? Jack. Basketball. Correct. What is the Latin root word for such German, Austrian, and Russian imperial titles such as Kaiser? Uh, Caesar. That is correct. Auguste Rodin's huge bronze door called the Gates of Hell was inspired by the Inferno, written by the author, Colin. Dante. Correct. Augustus Gloop nearly drowns in Jack. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? That is incorrect. I'll finish for Blacksburg. <laughs> and Harry Potter eats frogs made from it. What is this sweet brown or white candy? Ethan. Chocolate. Correct. This group formed in 1867 had its greatest success fighting the mono monopolistic rates charged by railroads and warehouses. Name this political and economic movement originally founded to teach scientific techniques to Midwestern farmers. Jack. Populous. That is incorrect. Blacksburg. Colin. The Grange. That is correct. The Grange movement. And that buzzer is the end of our game. While our judges double check the final score, if your school would like to participate in Battle of the Brains, the qualifying test is coming up. Here's how to connect with us to find out more. Stay up to date with Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. And follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. As we continue round two in this season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week as we welcome Charlottesville High School versus Collegiate School. And here's the final score for today's match, determining which of our teams will continue on in this season's competition. Ending the match with a final score of 290 points, our team from Blacksburg High School. Congratulations and great job today by Rishi, Brandon, Colin, and Ethan. Our winners today and going on to round three with a final score of 450 points, our team from St. Christopher School. Great job today by Theo, Jack, Jack, and uh, Mac. <laughs> Thank you, and we'll see you guys later in round three. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thanks so much for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains, and we'll see you back here next week. Great match, teams. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529. Goodbye.